Ferrari rolled out a steady development plan for its SF23 throughout the 2023 Formula One campaign, including a switch of side pod architecture following Red Bull, Alpine and AlphaTauri, and at least won a race. It came very close to overhauling Mercedes for the runner-up spot to the dominant Red Bull and gradually reduced the gap to the Austrian side in the second part of the season. Let's take a detailed look at some of the car's finer details in full and the key updates introduced by Ferrari during the 2023 F1 championship and how it impacted performance. The SF23's nose assembly differed from its predecessor by virtue of its length, as the tip is no longer connected to the main plane. The Ferrari car had an interesting feature that was unique to the Marinello team and allowed airflow captured below the inlet to escape into the upper surface of the side pod. The SF23 without some of the lower chassis bodywork in place allows us to see the internal bib structure and the sprung stay that connects it to the underside of the chassis. Here we see how the SF23's chassis dips down to allow the lower wishbone to be positioned lower. Ferrari introduced a new rear wing at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, which featured a single central support pillar rather than the twin pillar arrangement and took a nibble out of its front wing end plate as part of an update for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix with the C-shaped cutout in the lower corner likely targeting an improved outwash effect. Here we have a close-up of the slot gap separator brackets installed on the SF23's front wing, which offer more aerodynamic support than the regular horseshoe style brackets would. The SF23's nose without the vanity panel in place shows how the inner crash structure and outer panels are packaged. Ferrari rigged the SF23 with more sensors in Baku to gather additional data. The Marinello team opted to move the caliper into the low-slung position to adopt the disc fairing. Notably, a new drill pattern was also favored to better help control temperatures across a broader range. Ferrari's high downforce rear wing offering for the Monaco Grand Prix featured a single mounting pillar. The SF23's floor edge had two cutouts to create a separation point in the center, with the rear portion of the floor both tapering inwards and upwards. A new side pod package arrived for the SF23 at the Spanish Grand Prix as the team moved away from their bathtub style solution and adopted something more akin to the downwash ramped solutions many of their rivals were now using. The revised floor edge on the SF23 featured an elongated edge wing with an upturned section at the front, while a metal bracket was used to connect the rearmost section of the floor with the edge wing. A new front wing design was employed at the Austrian Grand Prix, with the C-shaped cutout in the end plate filled in once more and a small winglet incorporated instead. The shape of the end plate's leading edge was altered too. Ferrari employed a biplane style beam wing arrangement at the British GP, with a slatted upper element set forward of the lower element. Ferrari trialed a single lower beam wing element on the SF23 at the Hungarian Grand Prix at the Hungaroring. A new rear wing design was introduced at the Belgian Grand Prix, as Ferrari presented its version of the open-ended tip section solution that many of their competitors had already raced. A central cutout was also present on the trailing edge of the upper flap, with a gurney also applied. Ferrari's rear wing for the Italian GP was simply a 2022 redux, with the team likely happy to save the resources required to develop a bespoke solution. A single element beam wing was selected and paired with the low downforce rear wing at the Italian Grand Prix. The SF23's upper flap on the front wing was also trimmed heavily to help match downforce levels front to rear considering the choice made at the rear of the car. Larger gills were employed in Mexico to help with cooling in the rarefied air. The SF23 was outfitted with two solutions at the Las Vegas Grand Prix, as the team looked for the right balance between the downforce required Belgian GP specification versus the straight-line speed advantage that could be garnered, Monza GP. 